Narcissus at the Source, Caravaggio, 1571 to 1610. Date of origin, 1597 to 1599. Dimensions, 43 by 36 inches. Medium oil on canvas. Current location, National Gallery of Ancient Art, Rome, Italy. The painting aims to capture a mythological definition of handsomeness. A tightly framed, lithe young man in the top half who kneels leaned over a still water's edge to gaze down on his own reflection in the bottom half. He leans out enough to hang over the water's edge in front of him. The color palette is dark. The pitch black background is in stark contrast with isolated light accents of the young man's alabaster skin and ivory sleeves. It is Narcissus. He has flawless smooth skin and red neatly coiffed hair parted near his delicate symmetrical left ear. He is shown in the upper half of the painting, kneeling in a contorted, unclassical position. He sits shifted onto a folded right leg and steeply leans forward over the water's edge with head cocked right and elongated neck bared. He braces his weight with wide extended arms, which spread across the width of the painting to form an arch with his head at the apex. One can make out his clothes protruding from the shadows. They are characteristic of Renaissance fashion and free of mythological references. An ivory shirt with wide puffy sleeves pulled up to the elbow. An over tunic of emerald velvet with intricately shaved relief flourishes and the knee of shiny ultramarine breeches. Such garb associated with enfant terrible may emphasize both his privileged station and his unruly character. His fixed expression shows longing and sadness. Trance-like, as if hypnotized, he locks eyes with those of his own dimmed reflection in the lower half of the painting. Narcissus and his elusive image seem to be touching hands at the water's edge. The mirrored arches of his arms and the reflection create an oval loop punctuated near the center by the taut skin of his bare knee, the brightest element of the composition. The painting represents the relation of the painted character with his own reflection, an eventual self-destruction born of isolated self-absorption. Caravaggio dramatizes the scene by his characteristic method, chiaroscuro, the interplay of light and shadow, and makes Narcissus, as if a theatrical figure, emerge from the depth of the unlit scene. This master of darkness and light makes the light itself his subject, with the selected portions of the work intensely lit by a light source left out of frame. Singularly lit, Narcissus's glowing figure extends forth from the darkness to create, for the painting, that same gravity of warmth which lone campfires in dark woods draw onlookers in with. This mythological hero is known for falling for his own reflection. Narcissus pined away for himself, for the elusive and impossible. When he died, he turned into a beautiful flower that still carries his name. Caravaggio rarely ever painted mythological scenes, and historical sources are silent on who might possibly have commissioned them from the artist.